When we decided to take the whole family on a holiday, it was an easy choice for us. With its family friendly vibes, postcard beaches and glassy seas, we looked no further than Australia's own slice of paradise, Morden Island. It is one of my all time favourite beach, camping and touring destinations, approximately 90 minutes off the Brisbane coastline and the third largest sand island in the world. In this three part series, we head to the island with the whole family two adults, four kids, the patrol, the nav, and the Opus OP4 camper trailer. The shipwrecks, the enormous sand dunes, and its stunning wildlife at every turn. This was one adventure the kids are soon not to forget. Proudly supported by Outback Equipment, Tread, Superior Engineering, and in part by. After a big drive the day before, we'd spend the night at Brisbane Holiday Village, and then the next morning, it's only about a 20, 25 minute drive to the port of Brisbane, which is where the Morden Island Ferry leaves from. Lunch stop, and we got fuel over there. And the ferry's up that way. Now that we were all filled up on fuel, stocked up on food, it was time to catch the ferry. Once you're on the boat, it's always a good idea to let that air straight out of those tyres. I went down to about 15, 16 PSI on both vehicles. As once you hit the other side, you're straight onto the sea. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Boy. We're on the ferry, there's Morden there's Island. You've got to zoom in so we can see it. Coming out and then the there's boat. Brisbane. Back all the way there. Bye. Bye. So the ferry leaves from Port of Brisbane and I think it's about a 90 minute ride to get over to Morden Island. You got the top deck uncovered up there and then you got this middle deck with a uh, bit of a cafe and bar and stuff out of with nicer seats. Might leave the rest of the kids on the ferry. Yeah. <laughs> We'll pick them up in a week on yeah. the way back. <laughs> As you can see, we are arriving at the beautiful Morton Island. So if you are travelling in a four-wheel drive, now it's time to head back downstairs and into your vehicle. Can we change our mind? Are you freaking out about driving on the sand? Yeah. Do I need to put Demi's put in normal drive? Demi's driving the patrol, the GU. And she's got the Opus OP4 camper trailer attached and then we got the nav, so we got the two vehicles, two adults and four kids. Which way are we going? Do you want to go ride and have a quick look at Tangaluma X? Yeah, okay. This is Demi's second time driving on sand and first time ever driving a camper trailer on sand. So it's going to be fun for her, she's freaking out. I've never driven a camper trailer on sand either so I'm not going to be much help. Good luck to her. And we're on Morton Island. We've arrived on the island, so where you come off is that Tengaluma Rex, which is just there. And then that's the ferry right behind us, so we've just parked the cars and we thought we'd just pull up and get our bearings and work out a bit of a plan for this afternoon. Beautiful weather, nice and sunny. Had a bit of a look around Tengaluma there, but we decided we're going to shoot over the east coast and see if it's a bit more protected over here since that wind is southwest. See how we go when we get here anyway. The good thing about Morden is it's only about 7Ks across this main inland track, so it doesn't take too long, about 15 minutes or so to shoot over the other side. We're over the east side, it's definitely a bit more protected over here because you've got the 
sort of island behind you and then yeah beachfront views out through there we're just on the mission now of finding ourselves a spot to set up for a couple of nights um we've just booked in this zone as zone as well our plans just to book on the go we're lucky we're at a quieter time of year because you have to pre-book camps but in the quieter times you can sort of just ring up um before you get here and once you find a bit of a spot before you set up it's just very wind and weather dependent of where you want to camp so that's why we sort of leave it till last minute but yeah there's still some spots left over this side which is good bang it <laughs> Now it's all out and everything's in place, we hit the air button and let it inflate. It still amazes me how quick these rooftop tents are to set up. So this will be the first trip away in a new one. I've got so this is Drifter Stockton's latest desert cruiser I think it is so similar well the camera zoomed in oh there you go similar to the other one I had but it's just their latest edition they wanted me to test out and this nav's going to the next couple of four-wheel drive shows so they wanted their newest on to display at the shows Kai wanted to be over there so Kai's having the whole rooftop tent to himself this trip which is what he wanted and you think oh that's a bit unfair for him away from everyone else but Trust me, he's very happy about it because he's away from a screaming baby through the middle of the night in the camper trailer, so he's not missing out on anything. So in there, I got the king bed over there, which will be Demi, myself and Zef. Lounge and table set up, which is still getting done. Oh, there's Zef there, and then that'll be Jasper and Felix's bed. Do they even know who the are? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, they will now. Also, guys, okay. So we got Malachi, Jasper, Felix, Mum slash Demi. Give us a smile. Also, guys, hang on. We got me, Tyler, Dad. and then we got Zeph in here who, I don't know, do you think he wants to join? Alright, what were you going to say, Kai? Okay, guys, like, just to clarify something, it is Z-E-P-H, Zeph, not Jeff, not, it's not Jeff, it's, it's not J-E-F-F, -E -F. it's not J-E-F-F, -F, okay? People have been calling Zeph Jeff on it the videos. It is called Zeph, and also, it is not Jeff. It is D E M I. Dem E. Not, not Deb. -E. <laughs> it's Demi. Oh, how awesome is this, bud? It's going to be a nice sunset out there, I reckon. Hopefully, there's a few clouds. So, we're here for six days or four, I don't even know. Four nights, five nights, six days, something, something like that. The weather generally looks pretty good, but I said it could be the odd shower here and there over the coming couple of days. But that's all good. We're on a tropical island in paradise, so you can't complain about that. We've come with a hell of a lot of equipment because we've got so many people. We considered squishing everyone into the, the patrol because it's a seven seater. It does have the two back seats still in there, so we might go for the day drives in it or something, depending on what everyone wants to do. But yeah, bringing everyone and everything and just the patrol and camp trail is going to be way over GVM on a big trip like this. And it was just easier to take the two cars, have space for everyone and fit all our stuff and be comfortable without it just being a squish disastrous mess it just did end up being a bit more expensive getting the ferry tickets over here i think for the trailer and the two vehicles end up being eight or nine hundred dollars return in the ferry tickets for more nylon you need your ferry tickets over and back national parks pass that was sixty dollars per vehicle and then you're camping per night, which I think for all six of us, it's maybe 30-ish bucks a night. So for the four or five nights, you know, what's that, 150 bucks or something. So we brought ourselves heaps of wood. You are allowed more than, I don't know if it's all, but most spots on more than, like I think all the beach sites you are, just maybe not a couple of the main campgrounds, you are allowed fires. So we stocked up for the week because you can't collect any on here. We've got four big bags. Plus I got another one in the nav too. There's fire going out here and we got a... Pretty awesome sunset starting to develop too. This the sky's starting to get some colour through it.
That's pretty cool, full moon out there tonight for our first night coming up behind us. But we're gonna cook a bit of dinner. We've got the family favorite for our first night away, which is? Mexican. Mexican nachos. You wanna do the vlog in here? Wait, wait, sit over the egg. Sit over there. So we got epic chess battle going on in the camper trailer. Why we slave away cooking dinner. We're going to do two versions because different people like different things when you have a family of 17. six. Yeah, 17. Well, I guess Seth doesn't eat food. But anyways. <laughs> so we're going to do a chicken one. And then we're going to do a vegetarian bean mix one. Then they'll have capsicum in them spring onions, chips over there, and then we got some cheese, sour cream, baby spinach, a few things to go on top. So I'll get to it, slave away while you sit around uh -huh. doing nothing. Keeping your child alive, that's like better than anything you've ever done. Easy, uh, easy. Get, your fin get your hands out. Chicken. That's dinner done. Very delicious. It's just a bit easier to eat in the trailer there with everyone and the lounge chairs and the table and the good lighting. We're going to sit by the fire now under this full moon, enjoy the rest of the night and check back in tomorrow. I'm pretty sure everyone did it. They all missed their golf balls at least once. I did it. I did more. Yeah, I know. At least once. Quick question. How was towing on the sand with the trailer for the first time? Yeah, it was actually really easy. Was it easy? Yeah. All the all the stuff was pretty hard though. Like there wasn't really any soft sand. Yeah, and, but when it went like a little bit soft, I could kind of feel that it was like a little bit like that. But no dramas though. No. Big TB forty eight. I'm still power. eating. You know me and my beast of a car. Yep. Living the dream. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> First sunrise on Morden Island, pretty nice. I seem to have lost my voice a little bit, so you have to bear with me, it's not too bad. Got a beautiful sunny day, it's already starting to warm up a bit. Even though it is winter time up here, like if you get sunny days, it's generally reasonably warmish. Kai's coming out from his luxury suite up there. Anyways, we're gonna light this fire so we can cook a bit of brekkie on it. Kids have had a bit of toast for breakfast on the fire and then I'm going to make myself a smoothie here. Got some ice, some protein powder, a couple of dates, some honey, some yogurt, put some ice in, some milk. Switch the inverter on and then we're good to go. Good thing about having a fancy dual battery system is you got the how to do stuff like this. A little bit of luxury when you're out here camping in these awesome places. <laughs> it's 8.45 and mum has decided to wake up for the morning. Zip's awake, just chilling out in bed there. So have a looking at the map here, we're thinking our plan today. This map I got on the ferry on the way over here is just a free one on the boat. And it's literally all you need for modern Ireland, it's not too complicated. 
So that's where we got off at the wrecks, where the boat comes in, and then we just took this inland track over to the eastern beach, and that's where we camped, somewhere down along this southeastern beach zone, I don't know exactly where. Well, because that southerly wind's still whipping up here a bit today, I'm thinking that we head up along this eastern beach all the way up to the top, where it'll be protected up here, and we check out all this area today. Champagne Pools, North Point, Honeymoon Bay, the Lighthouse, and then on our way back to camp this afternoon, we'll probably stop in at Blue Lagoon for a swim at the Freshwater Lake. I reckon that should be first awesome day exploring here. We're just gonna leave our camp set up as is. We are going to take the nav though, so we'll take the nav and patrol. Just quickly pop this rooftop tent down, it'll only take a couple of minutes, and then we'll just leave all the rest of our camp gear here. We decided that way we'd both get to have our fun driving around the island, and we can't all fit in the nav, and I kind of need to take the nav because it's got our fridge for our lunch and snacks for the day, and our dual battery system to charge my camera gear, and that is where on the road today. <laughs> What's that? I just don't want to be in the car with screaming Zeph, don't uh, I? I love screaming Zeph in the car. I'll just put it through the UHF. You can listen while we listen. Perfect. Well, I just knew you wouldn't let me drive the patrol and then I wouldn't get to drive anywhere today. Well, we don't want to break it while we're here, so... Well, when you break the, when you break the patrol, I'll be able to tow you out with the nav. Uh -huh. <laughs> As you drive up and down the eastern beach and on the western beach a little bit as well, you have lots of freshwater creeks flowing out into the ocean. So you just have to be a little bit cautious of them because you come up to them and they often have drops down, down off them. But yeah, they're fresh water and they're all good to drive. So you just don't want to be driving through the salt water, obviously, of the beach itself. We're on our way up this eastern beach now. I'm starting to see the lighthouse in the distance. The only thing is it's nearly high tide, so it's been a bit squishy getting up here, but it's been all good. We have arrived up the top of Morden Island, North Point. Pretty awesome spot out here. Heaps of those fish trawlers out there, they're out there everywhere. So there's not much going on here today, but they are often surfing. There's a little bit of a point break that runs along there. And then over there, we have champagne pools. So we'll head over for a look in a sec where all the water washes over into the little pools there. This is Champagne Pools, we just walked over here now so you can see the water washes over the rock from the ocean. It creates the, wow I lost my voice, it creates the <laughs> champagne like water and whitewash. Well, Pretty. That, that was perfect timing, as soon as you yeah, pointed look. it was just like... And there's another one. So we got to uh, get our swimmers on and go in there and try and survive the whitewash. And we'll send Zeph in first. Uh -huh. Zeph in first. He hates the water. You go Zeph. Oh, here comes one. The sun's sort of coming in now, the clouds, so I try to time my swim with a bit of sunshine. Whoa, jeez. There's water coming down here everywhere in these waves. Pretty cool spot here. Whoa! <laughs>
We just walked up from those champagne pools, so they're just down there. But then we came up here because we wanted to have a look at Honeymoon Bay down there. It looks so nice as well, so then we're going to get up for a little walk down there and have a look. How clear is that water? Yeah. So pretty. And look at it out over there too. Right, this way. We just moved up the beach a few k's, so we had a spot to ourselves. It was getting fairly busy up there at North Point. I've just pulled the awning out to give us, not so much that we need shade, but my main reason to pull it out was to dry it out. Still got high country ice and dampness on it from when I got back from there 10 ish days ago. Been a bit slack and haven't dried out yet. Probably wasn't even 10 days ago, it was a week ago actually. A week ago, I was down in Victorian high country, freezing to death in the mountains. Now we're up here on a tropical island. Do you reckon that we brought enough food for this trip? No. <laughs> How much food do we bring? Like $700 worth? And we're two days in and we're like, hmm, don't know if we're gonna have enough. So much food. Bunch of scavengers every single lunchtime just going. Well, they've never been fed before, yet they have like four <laughs> yeah. meals every, every Just shoving food down their mouths everywhere. Oh. Alright, go Felix. Did you see what it is there? It's behind you. Look. The 60 Series. Can we buy it? <laughs> For some reason Demi is obsessed with 60 Series Land Cruisers now and she really wants one. But... But! There's also, no but! Also... There's no but! <laughs> you've already got the GU and we just got a GQ we're building. So, maybe after that. The more the merrier. <laughs> Finished up lunch down there at the beach. And before we head back down the eastern beach while we were up here, we figured we'd come for a look at the lighthouse. I think they've got a cool museum and information centre here. It's got some interactive activities for the kids and that. <sighs> Thought it'd be worth checking out. What do you think of this place? This is cute. Pretty cool. Lots of information and little interactive things all here everywhere. And here's where we are up the top of the island. Oh, yeah. That's where we went to North Point and then over had lunch around that yellow patch there. Do you know that Morden, Morden Island used to have military defences on it? Brisbane's primary defensive position. And wait, during World War II various coastal fortifications were also built at Calandra and on Morden and Bribey Islands. That's where we're going next, Blue Lagoon for a swim. V. Yeah. He's got the heat Boo. A little bit windy, but we are at the top here. Awesome view all out around you. Got the lighthouse just up there, and there's a whales out there. A bit far away to feel, but I'll see if you can see them. Finished up with the lighthouse, we're on our way now down to Blue Lagoon, came across a fairly mysterious looking water crossing here. Now we just passed a guy on the way out and he said one side's shallow and one side's deep, but I forget which was which. Do we want to go the deep side or the shallow side? The deep side. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We've got to work out which one's the deep side. Alright, you are ready to send it through. <laughs> I'm kind of scared now that your like pants are all wet. <laughs> Bro, just put in low range, we'll go one at a time, I'll go first and if I get stuck, well then we'll panic. That plan seems uh, foolproof. Wow. Hey, yo. <laughs> we nearly went swimming. Wow, you went missing for like a few seconds. Hang 
That was fairly deep. We want to come out and watch you, so just wait up a sec. Ready? It just like catches you out at the end, just like plows yeah, in. Yeah, well, when I looked at you, your car, the back, the whole back of your car was under. <laughs> and I was like, um, why are we doing this? <laughs> was that fun? Yeah. yeah. Was that fun, Felix? Yeah. Came up pretty high. Yeah, and then I got scared, so I was like, ooh, get in, get in, get in. You heard it start to like, Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of water crossings on get the way ready. here. We got another one now. This one's not as deep, but still a little bit of depth there. We're about to fall in. Whoa. Oh my god, that's so sick. These are fresh water by the way, like it's fairly silty and stuff, so it's probably not ideal. It's not like a freshwater creek, but yeah, it's definitely not salt water. You wouldn't want to do that if it was salt water. It gave the car a good wash anyway. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to wet you. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> How is it? It's not that cold. Yes, it is. It's like similar to the ocean. A little bit of excitement on the way here to Blue Lagoon with those water crossings, but we have made it to the lake. We're the only ones here. And it's Quite protected on this side too, which is awesome. Look how still it is. Felix. So peaceful. So peaceful. And then like we bring four children. <laughs> Gonna have a swim though and freshen up. It's good. We plan to do this at the end of the day to get all the salt water off us from the day so then we feel nice and refreshed at camp tonight. That's my favourite saying. What is it? Nice and refreshed. Something my like that. My favourite saying is boy. Boy guys. Boy. And boy. The lake's got heaps more water in it than what it's had the last couple of times I've been here and it's a bit discoloured too, like that tea tree stained colour. Normally it's a bit fresher than this, I reckon it's just all the rain that's brought it up and then it's leached into it a bit, but still beautiful fresh water. It always amazes me on these fully sand islands, like complete sands, and then you just have freshwater lakes out in the middle of them. Made it back to camp, a little bit windy here, but I think that wind's meant to drop off tonight and then meant to be a bit still at the next few days. Everyone's just hanging out in the camper trailer at the moment. Probably get this fire going and cook ourselves a bit of dinner soon. Burgers for dinner. Sit here by the fire and enjoy it under the moon.
that wind has dropped off a little bit overnight, which is nice. Beautiful sunny morning here at camp. We've just been taking it easy. But I thought I'd do a quick couple of minute run through of the camp setup and all the gear we brought on this trip. Starting with the 2019 Nissan Navara, two inch lift, 33s. On this side of the canopy, I just got storage, various things. That's a kitchen box, clothes bag. That's got all our fire gear in it. Dirty clothes bag, air compressor, toolkit. Top shelf there where we keep towels and extra bedding and stuff. Some charging points over here from the dual battery system. Water goes in there, it's got a 60 litre tank underneath it. Jasper's been sitting over that side, kind of in the front seat there, and then we got us some food there. Table to use around camp, one of those stainless front runner ones. And then up the top where Kai's sleeping, that's the Drifter Stockton Desert Cruiser 1.2 metre rooftop tent. Quick look inside at the mess Kai's made. And then over this side, I got all the canopy stuff. So slide out table there, slide out drawer. I got mostly tools in there. First aid kit, jump starter, toilet paper. Slide out pantry there. 85 litre Bushman's fridge. That's where your water comes out down there. And you can see better the dual battery system over this side. This one I'm using to charge all my camera gear and laptops and phones, plus lights around camp, all that sort of stuff. All our camp chairs are all the Drifter Stockton ones, a few different types. That's a, another one of those front runner tables. That one's off the patrol, so we've got two of them. Drifter Stockton fire pit there, that's the large one. The patrol has a rubbish bag on the back there, 40 litres of water. So that's 100 litres of drinking water we brought for the week, I believe. And the patrol food box on the front seat, obviously Demi's driving there. Zeph's over there in his car seat, Felix is here in his car seat. And then in the back, nothing fancy, just some storage, luggage, more food. And that's a 2003 4.8 litre petrol patrol on 35s, which it's all engineered and legal for. Obviously you don't need highly modified cars like this for Fraser Island, you just can do it all in a standard four wheel drive. And then a quick look at the Opus, so slide our fridge there, which I believe is 95 litres. Got two big storage compartments in it. So we end up with like 170 litres of fridge space. Slide out kitchen pantry there. Here's your central station for the Opus. It has two water tanks as well, 80 litres. We didn't actually put any water in them for this trip. We figured we had enough water on the cars and there's some freshwater creeks we can get water from on the island if we need, you know, washing up and cooking water and all that sort of stuff. I was just gonna make this thing fairly heavy otherwise. And then here's your full slide out kitchen. That's 20 litres of diesel for the diesel heater. Gas bottles there for the kitchen. This is another storage compartment over here on this side. That's where you fill up your water tanks and that's a hot water shower which we've never <laughs> never actually used but we will at some point. But we figured there's plenty of beaches and creeks and lakes to swim at here on Morden so no need. Double bed there where Jasper and Felix are sleeping. Lounge set up and table here. And there's a king bed over there where Demi, myself and Zeph are sleeping. Zeph's there chilling now. Alright, I won't go through everything in too much detail otherwise we'll be here all day but yeah, a bit of a basic run through of our camp set up for this trip. Now we just got to come up with a plan of what we're going to do today. It's going to be, water's only going to be not... Well. So we're going to do two types. Where's all the ingredients? Over there. <laughs> That's dinner. That's dinner done. Pretty delicious. Just a bit easier to eat in the trailer with other... Good thing about having a fancy dual battery system is you got plenty of power to make smoothies and good thing about having a fancy this map I got on the ferry on the way over here yesterday it's just a free map that comes with you this map finished up that wind has dropped off a little bit overnight which is nice nice sunny Starting with the Nissan Navara, so water, go <coughs> water goes in there, it's got a so 240 volt power, 12 volt USB and cigarettes slot. So that gives us, I think, so that gives us a hundred litre water. That's 20 litres of diesel because it has a, di that's 20 litres of diesel. <coughs> 